Welcome back to Manifest Your Magic. My name is Sahara Rose. I am Mia Magic. And today we are going to be playing the telepathy game to enhance your intuition. So one of the biggest questions that we both get is how do I enhance my intuition? How do I notice those whispers which will guide me towards my soul's purpose, my magic, my abundance, my ideal partner, friendships? Well, it all comes Everything. through practice. Mm -hmm. So we have created a game that we're going to be playing with you today. Which Sahara is loves games, y'all. One of my favorite things about her is she like sent me this photo of a plan of her own birthday that she made for her seventh birthday party, color-coded, like, Mom, these are the specific games. These are the things in the Musical gift bag. Musical chairs. Exactly. Wiggly, wiggly. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what's happening? I love all games. It's just yeah. such a fun way to encode knowledge into your mind in a way that's playful and mm -hmm. heart open. So we're going to be playing this intuition training game. Yeah. So the way that it works is we have a series of magical note cards, which have a series of numbers as well as animals. animals. And the way that it works is that we will first be playing with each other, guessing what is the animal or the number behind the card. So first we'll play with numbers just to get the ball rolling, then we'll move into animals. And full disclosure, we have no idea what animals are even on here. Our, our assistant added these on, so we don't even know what these animals are. So this is gonna make it fun. That's what's yeah. going to make it fun. And the reason why we're doing this is even if we don't get anything right, it's to, to practice that intuition, yeah. practice feeling into what feels right with no prior knowledge. And then we'll be playing this game with you. And that's one of the things is that sometimes you don't get it right. And sometimes you think that you follow an intuitive hit and you're like, oh my God, okay, I got this intuition. And you go there and you're like, nothing happened. Like what the fuck? And it's okay. It's great. Even the fact that you listened, maybe your intuition literally just did it to, I mean, you know, not like test you in a negative way, but to see if you're listening, to see, hey, are you paying attention to me? Are you willing to follow my guidance? Because I try to do that, and all the times that I don't listen, I always regret it, and every time I do listen, whether there's something powerful that happens at the end or not, I'm always grateful I did. So let's get this game started. Okay, you wanna start or you want me to? So now we're going to get started and what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on this number in my mind, like even tracing it over and over again or just sending it to Sahara and also holding the card so that she can't see it because the cards are kind of see-through, but I'm going to hold the card so she can't see it and focus on it, sending it from my mind into hers. I'm, I'm feeling between a three and a seven. I don't know why. I'm going to go with three. Seven? No. Eight. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Yeah. Four. Close, because I was drawing the shape of it. What if you put a hat on a four? Nine. Yeah. Oh, dude. Okay, so here I just doubted my own intuition because I went seven, eight, and the next logical thing I was like, I want to say nine, but I was like, no, I can't be so obvious and do nine. I need to go somewhere else. Yeah. So I disobeyed my intuition. Mm -hmm. I didn't get the number. Okay. okay, you do me. Seven. Six. Four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm like, am I even listening? Okay. One. Oh. Close. You're close. Yeah, but then, okay, I've guessed five times. Okay, great. And we're really good at this. So, um, <laughs> like, really good at following our intuition. But look, you know, just the numbers. I don't it know. It was two. Okay, great. So Yeah, now, but I didn't even see that. So. Yeah. So now we're seeing, okay, how can we maybe, we have to find our way that we're meant to psychically communicate with each other. So maybe, like, we were chasing the shapes. I did that because you said that maybe that's not working. Maybe it should yeah, be okay. more, like, we're thinking of the number of that thing, like, two swans or something like that. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Okay, great. I'm going to try that. That's good. Okay. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> okay. Hang on, I found another animal. Okay. Four. No. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I literally in my mind, I was like, we're gonna nail all of these. <laughs> okay, great. Eight. Yes. <laughs> 
when you nodded, I heard eight. Yeah. Like you nodded eight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Yes. yes. Okay. Here. Knew now this up. one, you guys guess too. Yeah. See what you feel. Okay. Four. Damn it. Six. because they have like six on Ooh, the end. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah, when okay, I... we're getting better. I was like thinking, I don't know why. I didn't, it's not like I heard four. four I was like guessing is, four. Yeah. yeah, but no, but as soon as I like really tuned in with you, I was like six. And here's the thing. Sometimes our intuition... And I almost didn't say it too. Same thing. I was yeah. like, uh. Because something like this, it's like the intuition of connection. So it's not just yeah. like what number is coming up for me, but it's like, what am I receiving? It really does practice your divine feminine. It's such a good practice with your partner as yeah. well. Yeah. Ooh, like, I love this. To what they are sending out to you. Ooh, yeah. That's good. <sighs> you guys been guessing with me. I literally felt you just almost say it. Oh, my God. 10? Yeah. <laughs> I knew you were going to say it. I knew it. I was like, I literally saw it coming back to me through your like, eyes. But then I was like, 10 is too high of a number. I, I knew it. That's 10. exactly yeah. when you looked away. I was like, yes, dude, that's it. Yeah. See, okay, that was learn. great. You Practice. Going. Yes, I love that. Okay, okay let's great. Let's move on to animals. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, cool. Do an animal with me. This is fun. Okay. <laughs> So you guys practice this with us. <laughs> See, she always gets me. I mean, I love games too, but like she always gets me going <laughs> on the games and then we're like so excited. But our favorites are like the improv okay, games, you know? this one is the one. Snake? Oh. Dragon. Tiger. <laughs> Phoenix? Why are you nodding your head at me like that? <laughs> okay. I'm just guessing. Stop doing that. Dolphin? Yes! Yeah, okay, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes! 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 But you know what? I almost got so excited because dolphins are my power animals that I was just like more in the excitement energy than the dolphin energy. And then I was like, okay. I dolphin. thought you were saying it because of me. Like, you know, I was like, no. See, yeah. that's so funny. But that's even one of the things. Yeah. It's like I was thinking about my, like we were talking about Define Feminine. So I was like, oh, she's saying, oh, this is the one. Like, oh, for, for, for me or for us, like I'm going to get it easily. So I guess the ones that were easy for me instead of, of course, guessing Being that the easy one yeah. for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which would have been Did you get like that the one? first thing I would have said. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Snake? No. Because I'm like in the energy of the snake, I'm like serpent. <laughs> I know, right? I keep, no, totally different. But okay. But has feminine in its own way. Okay. Peacock. Closer. Swan. No. Ostrich. No. Uh, cat. No. You were much closer with the birds. Okay. Parrot. Closer. It's a Mexican parrot that doesn't really... Toucan? Toucan? No. Who wrote this? I know. <laughs> I'm like, what? A Mexican parrot? <laughs> it's not. They're not Mexican. I just saw... The last time I saw one in, out in the wild, like, flying over me, I was like... Macaw? No. A flamingo. Oh, flamingo. Yeah. I was like, pink. They're pink. Oh, yeah. 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 That's a good one. Yeah. Mm. That's a good one. Okay, great. See, I think too with intuition, it's like sometimes something that's not in our minds, it's it's hard for us to pick up on. Something yeah, that totally. we don't know. It's like I don't really think about flamingos on a daily basis, though I should because they're beautiful. Yeah. But so it wasn't in the forefront of my mind, whereas like peacocks and snakes are like my go-to. So it's like sometimes we manifest what is known to us rather than yeah. stepping into the unknown. Ooh. Drop in the wisdom. <laughs> yeah, totally. And I have like hundreds of peacock feathers literally all over this house. Okay, yeah. cool. One more. Do me one more time. Okay. So fun. I'm like, let's play forever. So 
Okay, you guys guess this too. Wolf? Wolf, like actually saying wolf, wolf, oh. And I was like, yes, even even like my posture kind of went like wolfy up. So oh, I saw it in your eyes. I was like, oh, she just became a wolf. Oh yeah. And I almost didn't say it because I was like, oh, what am I talking about? Too, like, we think it's too obvious. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, great. So you guys, try this at home with your friends, with yourself. You can do this. In so many different ways, like have your partner Google a cool, I had this crazy magician y'all the other day, he did this mentalist thing on me. He literally had me write down a woman I care about in my life. I chose my cat, her name is Minerva. He could never have known that. And I literally wrote it down on a piece of paper, ripped it up into like 10 shreds, threw it on the ground. He picked up one piece, made sure I saw that it was a blank piece and goes, um, M, it's an unusual name, Minerva. I was like, swear to God, is he got it. It was crazy. So this intuition, connecting with others, being receptive, it's so possible. And it's obviously very fun. Like, look how excited we just got about that. Sure. So play this game with anyone at home, with all of your friends. Again, Sahara is the queen of games and like gathering us all to really reconnect to our inner child and do something that helps us hone our super natural abilities. So... I love this. I'm very excited about this. Okay. Now let's do a couple with you guys. I'm going to hold an animal in my hand. We're both going to psychically send it to you. And just see if you can guess it. And if you want to take a moment, you can pause the video and really tune in and feel it. Three, two, one. Squirrel. squirrel. <laughs> I was like, beep, 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 beep. I was gathering acorns. <laughs> uh -huh. I was like, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Did you get it? Who got that one? Comment below. Oh, right. That one so one. I love that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Here, you choose another one. Great. We got it right here. I'm still holding squirrel. Dear, who got it? Who's two for two? I was picturing myself prancing through the woods. Oh, I had like a whole rack of antlers. I was like in it. Okay, cool. Last one. Oh yeah, good one. Rabbit. Rabbit. <laughs> I was going, <laughs> yeah, me too. I was like with my little ears and like up on my little bunny feet. Yay. Yeah. So who guessed them? Comment below who's one, two, or three for three. Who guessed some of ours? It's so beautiful because telepathy, intuition, you don't even need to be in front of each other. You can yeah. actually be halfway across the world and still be tuning into each other psychically. And this is how powerful we are. We're remembering our abilities to do this. And in the future, we're actually probably not even going to speak with spoken word, but rather just telepathy, download the information from each other. And it's going to be so freaking cool. Yeah. People think we're going to need like the weird AR goggles. Like my partner's like in the VR and all the thing. I'm like, no, let's just we use are. our telepathy. We are the ancient technology. Exactly. And we are the future. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with anybody else who wants to enhance their intuitive abilities or that you want to play our telepathy game with. I'm Mia Magic. And I'm Sahara Rose. And welcome to Manifesting Your Most Magical Life.